this video is going to be very strange but I will try to be ruthlessly honest I know myself to be what the philosopher Hegel calls the negative which is a principle of evil but the negative cannot be thought about without the positive they are in a logical unity so in order to remain psychologically balanced and not to lose it completely I need to believe that the positive can be extracted from the negative. I need, as, as, as uh, a psychological <coughs> um, creed of faith, I don't know, to, 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 to believe that I can bring positivity into the world. And uh, we are, wherever there's a we, we are one spiritual entity in a process of becoming conscious of itself. And the negative in this process is the individual who adopts a differentiated, distantiated, negative view on the whole. So what differentiates me, this empirical individual that you see from other people within being who are smarter than I am, with a higher IQ, more knowledge, more education, more training, better skills, is not that I am better, it's simply that from my point of view, as being the negative of the one substance, I have been able to have a broad vision of the whole of being, and I will talk about my psychological characteristics. I, I am a man, at least empirically, and I want to, to be a cause of, of joy and admiration in others. That's one of my wish. I, I would like to be loved, not loved, admired admired and 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 admired by others i would like to be capable of bringing joy and admiration into others <sighs> this is my um human all to human aspect because um if I listen to my selfish self, my negative self, I could spend days, weeks, months reading books, taking notes, making comments and, and, and working hard to produce books to, to explain that I have understood many things about being and to try to impress others and sh to show them how uh, intelligent I could be by, by interpreting the books of, of other authors. But that would be very selfish. And I know myself that my, my duty, if I might speak of duty, is not to, to prove uh, that I am smarter in a way because I have understood things that others have not. My, my purpose is just to be the, the, the link, the connection, to, to show to others what they themselves have produced, the authors, the intellectuals, and I must accept to promote books <laughs> that I haven't even read, but I know contain a deep truth in them. And I, I just must be the connecting link and, and to enlighten others, to reveal to others their own inner light. And just to give the perspective of the whole, which I have been able, because of my position, to, to view. And I would like to talk about the welfare state and and uh, socialist marxism and libertarianism and 
and and Christian spiritual anarchy. <laughs> and uh, I will promote books that you are free to read or not to read, and I will comment then. So there's the the writings of 1844 by Karl Marx, uh, in our hands by Charles Murray, which is a libertarian, politically correct, while still being incorrect, but politically respectable, politically incorrect, but respectable nonetheless, view on the welfare state. Uh, this book that I've already shown, Spontaneous Order, by a, a right-wing um, a right-wing libertarian, uh, the capitalist case for a stateless society, and finally, uh, anarchy and Christianity by Jacques Ellul, who was a French Protestant writer. And I will try to connect the dots between these books. I will give you the perspective of the negative uh, about the welfare state. It's complicated because the welfare state, as far as I know, was was brought forth historically uh, in England. There were already uh, civic uh, organization to help the poor and, and the retired or the, those in old age or the, the diseased. It already existed, but the, the, the modern view of the welfare state, as far as I know, was born in England uh, during or at the very end of, of the Second World War, and, and the same goes in France. And uh, in, the, in the United States, it was not really a welfare state, but under um, Roosevelt, during the, the New Deal, it was the, the, the beginning of what would become the welfare state. So, if it has come into existence, it's because there was a reason for it. The, the, the suffering of the, the poor, and the working class, and, and the, the, the old, and the diseased, and the sick, and the disabled was, was strong, and it was partly motivated by good intentions, the will to, to use the power of the state to help those in need. So, on the leftist perspective, uh, there are two psychological types, which are political types as well. There, there are the good-hearted leftists who want to promote the welfare state because they think it helps the poor. They are innocent, they are full of good intentions, and they want to feel good about themselves by helping others. So that's their psychological characteristic. These are the majority of leftists. They are kind of stupid, but they are good-hearted. They're not stupid intellectually, but they are... How do you call it? Uh, um, what's the English word? Um, deluded. deluded. Not stupid, but they are deluded. And then you have the leftist elites who are cynical, manipulative, and what they want is to use the welfare state to, to bring enslavement of the population and, and to control and to manipulate and to degrade the population because they know that by promoting... Uh, a state-sponsored help for the poor, it destroys the organic community ties and, and it enables to, to, to bring the, the individuals, to separate them from their communities and to bring them in a state of dependency with the state so, so as to control them and to manipulate them and it, it enables uh, to have a guarantee that the poor who benefit from the welfare state would vote for the left and they will they will win elections and they will maintain themselves in power and also the welfare state encourages the less intelligent to reproduce more and, and discourages the more intelligent to reproduce so it, it has a, a dysgenic effect and some leftist elites are perfectly aware of that and that's the reason why they promote the welfare state so they uh, they, 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 they use moral principles but they are motivated by cynical, manipulative, um, and, and, and a will to power and a will to control. So that's the picture in the broad outline on the left. Uh, and books have been written 
by Richard Lynn, most notably, to, to, to express the dysgenic effects of the welfare state. And uh, in, the, um, in the book The Problem with Socialism by Thomas Di Lorenzo, it explains how the welfare state in a country like Sweden has created egotistical monsters because people expect that the state will give them everything and, and they, they have become uh, uh, spoiled uh, citizens. They want the state to provide food, uh, li uh, security, security that the state should provide security, but they want the state to, pro to produce food, employment, uh, comfort, uh, free health care, and, and they, 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 they feel that the state, which means society, owes them something, and they are not willing to, to, to work for their own benefit anymore. They have become entitled and, and, and privileged and egotistical. That's the psychological, political effect of the welfare state. Now, the right-wing conservative libertarian view. There are the good-hearted libertarian who have good intentions. And they just say that by helping the poor with a mandatory taxation, you are not helping them because you are depriving them of their dignity and their, their ability to, to, to help themselves and to, uh, and to get themselves out of to get them to help them get out of their own misery by their own efforts, which is the the the, the standard of, of dignity. One man feels that he's noble, he has a worth of his own because he's able to to extract itself out of difficult situation or out, out of his own effort. And this feeling of self worth is 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 necessary for 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 the psychological balance of any human being. Um, so. They, the, the, those right-wing, good-hearted libertarians, they, they think that the welfare state is inefficient. They criticize uh, the, the economic aspect because the bureaucracy is not motivated by uh, the, the need to, to have profit. The, the, the bureaucracy are motivated only by... Um, uh, the, the more they are inefficient, the more money they receive. So it's a self-negating self circle, the, the less good work you produce, the more public fund you get and the more taxes. And so they are right in their, in their economic critique uh, of, of, of the welfare state. And also on the, the psychological conditions which, which, create, uh, which are created within the population by the existence of the welfare state. They are very lucid and clear-minded in their, in their view. And then you have the, the negative libertarian right-wing views who are angry against the welfare state because they claim that it turns the population into decadent populations and they are motivated by a, a hatred of, of paying taxes and having to, to, to sacrifice their own work for the good of, of a community which they know is less intelligent, less motivated, less, less hard-working than they are. So they, they resent the state and the left for forcing them by, by mandatory and compulsory taxation to finance the welfare state which produce uh, degraded communities and so you have both aspects um, on the left and on the right and uh, one is the mirror image of the other and uh, yeah and uh, when one understands the negative effects produced by the welfare state in the entire process of historical, political, economic, cultural, all that aspect, one ends up having what I call speculative experiences, which happened to me, is to, to understand that the, the opposites are united. They are in a conceptual unity with one another which is a very difficult position to maintain and uh, from the point of view of what I would call divine consciousness where the opposites are one uh, the dreams the dream of the capitalist libertarians which is the abolition of the state and the dream of Karl Marx and, and the real communists who really dream of abolishing the state 
Marxism and libertarianism in the mind of God, I might say, they are identical and they must coincide. And the question is, is it possible to make this dream, which is shared by the radical left and the radical right, of abolishing the state and replacing it with free cooperation between um, the workers. Is it possible to make it come true? I don't know, but that's um, where Jacques Ellul and the Christian anarchy comes into play. Um, anarchy which is the absence of hierarchical power, can only be realized, made real within the world, if it is a spiritual principle which takes possession of the individual. Only if the individual minds are spiritually inspired and organize their life so as to reflect the eternal order of the spiritual principle, the, the, the if they become conscious agents of the mind of God and embody the living idea of, of order, of, 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 um, of self-organization, only then it becomes possible, maybe. I don't know if it's possible, but if it was possible, if it were possible, it would be possible only to the extent that the Christian anarchist, which would be beyond libertarianism and beyond communism, they would they would realize the spiritual unity of both in the realm of, of work and, and civic life, would be able to self-organize. And <clears throat> my piece of advice, I don't know what it's worth, knowing that it comes from the negative, but from a logical standpoint, positive positivity must come out of the negative. So what I would like my, my viewers to, 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 to do, I, I don't ask them to do anything. I will do it for myself. And if I am faithful to my own teachings, I will be true to myself. And if I fail to, 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 to act in accordance with my own spiritual belief, then I will fail. But if you have faith in what I say, which is weird because I'm, I'm a strange character, my piece of advice would be try to reduce your dependence on the, the, the modern economic world. But at the same time, the more you detach yourself from the dependence to the, um, to, to, to the world, uh, you have to replace, if you are a man, you have to replace your detachment by a higher investment and you have to work even harder. You have to adopt a, a Protestant work ethic, knowing that if you understand the Spirit of God, you are chosen by God. And, 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 and God wants His chosen uh, creatures to, to work and to create, because God is the principle of creation. And you have to order your life so as to, to be less dependent uh, of, the, of the material world as possible, but at the same time to, to work to produce and try to the extent of your capability to thank God for every meal that you receive, for every experience that you encounter. Try to the extent of your capabilities to accept the other as a means for you to, to know yourself. You can only become conscious of who you are, of your divine identity, uh, and your divine essence by being confronted by that that which you are not, and I, I will probably fail. Not I will fail to live by my own teachings, and I will be punished for for that. But um, I will try to do my best to accept this: that the other is that which enable one to become conscious of one's true identity, which is spiritual. And um, an, another piece, other pieces of advice: try to to be thankful for the the, the, the craftsmen and the workers around you, and, and to be to, to recognize uh, the, the effort that they bring to society by their work, and which enable society to sustain itself. and And try to work um, as hard as you can, and to appreciate 
uh, poetry and, and, and also not to work yourself to, to death, but to, to, to work and to keep a balance and, and have enough leisure time to, to read books, to watch videos, to gain knowledge, because it is very likely that the purpose for which the universe was created was because God wanted to have self-knowledge and he wanted his creatures to know him and to, to know what he is. And, and if uh, the dream of, of the young Karl Marx and the dream of the right-wing libertarians is mm, possible to, to, to accomplish on earth through the mediation of, of spiritual Christian anarchy, then the purpose would be to reduce uh, working time in order to leave room for, for gaining knowledge and, and, and for appreciating uh, the amazing aspects of, of being and, and to gather knowledge. I don't know if it's possible, but what I will do as an individual to try to be faithful to my own teaching is to to reduce my dependence on the material world, which is impossible because uh, completely because the, the 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 interconnectedness of the economic system is 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 so complex. But at the same time, I will work and think and and speak and 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 produce and and try to appreciate every experience to the to the most of my capability. And I will try to 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 be thankful for the others who work. And who sacrifice their their time and their efforts to produce something which is valuable to the whole of society. And because I am a member of society, I, I I take benefit from their work. And I will try to be thankful as long as I can for the for this collective intelligence which is which is um, working. And um, if anarchy, spiritually ordered. Uh, divinely inspired anarchy, Christian anarchy, if it is possible, it would reunite within its concept Marxism and libertarianism. And if this is possible, uh, it would have to be um, it would have to be uh, realized by an inner calling. It is not the government or the, 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 the higher authorities which tell you, become an anarchist. Uh, now you, you can live your life according to, to the Christian principle of self-organization. No, it will be the, the, the believers, the, the divinely inspired creatures of God who will have to, to make uh, the spiritual decision to, to, to actualize their spiritual nature within the world and to reflect the, 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 the spiritual nature of God which lives inside them uh, within the world, and I don't know if it's very clear, but um, as 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 for me, I will try to the best of my 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 limited capabilities. And knowing that I am the negative, I know that I will fail in the process. But as long as I can, I will try to be thankful to God for every experience uh, that He gives me, and and I will try to enjoy every meal, not to to have an, an excess enjoyment of food, but I will try to appreciate. Uh, every glass of water, every meal, every every walk, uh, every every uh, second and a minute that I can spend reading and thinking and sharing ideas, and I will try to to be thankful to the the, the other people that I encounter uh, within my experience to to thank them because they enable me to 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 understand who I am and uh, yeah, so that was the the lesson and one thing I haven't mentioned it but if you are working a bullshit job if you feel that it, it's 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 not worth it anymore my piece of advice would be leave this bullshit job and not to become idle and 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 and, and um, hedonistic and, and 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 lazy but to work to produce something to create to if you if you have something to share with the world, your understanding of reality. If you have a uh, if you have a person that you love and you want to, to tell her or to tell him that you love this person, uh, do it and and be brave and and yeah. So this was a strange video, and uh, hopefully it can help 
um, those in need of uh, <clears throat> spiritual guidance.